Well, in this video, we are going to be changing the front uh, driver and passenger brake brakes with the uh, StopTech rotors and the EBC Red Stuff pads. Now, before we begin, uh, this is the stock OEM Mark 7R calipers. Uh, this video will also apply to the Performance Pack GTI. And if you're going to do a big brake kit or caliper upgrade to your stock setup, um, this will get you about halfway of the way there. We're just covering the removal. And then once we start installing the new uh, rotors and pads, well, then you'll have to be on your own. So let's, uh, let's get started. We've got a 13 millimeter socket, and we also have a uh, pair of pliers. This is going to help us to remove the caliper we've got top, and we have uh, bottom. So let's get the camera set up and uh, get started. Now you're going to need to give this a lot of effort because this thing is on here tight. And it's hard with the, uh, the socket of this size because you don't want to hit your, your um, any of the plastic components underneath the, the car here. All right, there we go. We have it started. The whole piece here is also moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wrench. We're going to hold this. Tightly. I know it's hard to see with my arm in the way, but you're basically holding one side clean while you do the other side. And to get it loose. You'll see this is starting to move, so I need to put the camera down and give the, this this wrench here a hold. Basically, what you're doing is you're loosening this up and the bottom one, and then uh, you're free to proceed. Okay, so at some point you'll have this uh, this gap here, which means you're on the right process. You'll need to keep using both fingers, but you can now hand loosen it uh, with two fingers this way. So we have both bolts on the top and bottom out. So now you can remove this entire piece right off just like that. It's pretty heavy, so be careful here. Let's put the camera down actually. So we're just gonna remove this from the top and the bottom, shimmy it off. There we go. And uh, move this up top here, just for now. Two pads left and right. We're gonna go to the flathead screwdriver and push these off. So what you're seeing here is I'm getting here, pushing this way, I'll just the other side too. The clips on each side will start to come loose. And then we just take these guys right out like this. And we're going to disconnect from here. We're inserting a flathead screwdriver in here. Push it in there. So now that we have the pads off, I did want to show you what this looks like. So the front pad, totally fine. There was no, um, there was no place for it to plug into anything that was monitoring it. But on the rear, you've got this guy here. And when you look at it, this way, we have a pretty standard, pretty standard plug here. So I just inserted a flat flat screwdriver and pushed the, the top part here back and then pulled it right off. You look at the wear of both of these pads. They're um, they're pretty much, I mean, they're, they got a little bit of life left in them, but they definitely needed to be replaced. All right, so now we are going to um, hook the caliper up to the, uh, to the spring up here, and then we're gonna remove the rotor from the, uh, the support caliper, brake pad support, and then the rotor coming off from there. All right, next step is if you look behind, say this is the, um, the support for the pads. If you look behind here, right where I'm touching, this is right between, there's two, there's one on the top and one on the bottom. These two supports are where you're going to unscrew Right here. These are gonna unscrew where the uh, the pad holders go. So let us begin. All right, so we ended up using a 21 millimeter socket with our breaker bar. This is gonna be a pretty heavy ordeal. So just wanna put a lot of effort behind it. <clears throat> it's gonna take a 
bunch of pushes here to get it off. All right, so we have both these bolts loosened up enough where we can actually hand loosen them. So now we have the uh, the carrier off, and we have the caliper hanging up here. Now it's time to remove the rotor. Uh, it could be pretty rusty. We're first going to start by removing this bolt here. I'm going to whack a couple times with a, a mallet, and uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so there's the rotor. We've got our T30. Give it a lot of effort here. It. Make sure to keep this bolt handy, don't lose it or not. All right, let's see if this just slides right off. All right, so we are going, this is rusted pretty badly, obviously. So I used, I reused the bolt that held the uh, pads in place. It's got it in there a couple times. Not going to tighten it too much. Now we're going to use a um, rubber mallet, hit this a couple times, just get it to come loose. go just like that back in place unscrew this guy boom just like that beautiful while we're in here we're gonna also apply a little bit of brake clean to get some of this rust off here it'll give it a better chance for next time but it's not a, a final solution Try to get on any rubber, just the metal surfaces. We're just gonna let that sit for a while, and uh, So we've cleaned everything up now. We are ready to uh, put the new rotor on. I just wanted to do this real quick before we do that, which is uh, when you unpack these, you'll see the sticker for L and R. That's um, driver's left, driver's right. And then, uh, so make sure you put them in the right direction here. Also, Stop Tech has given me a guide in the box which discusses the uh, rotor installation directions. So it gives you an idea of the rotation. So forward rotation, uh, you want to have the lines coming forward this way. They kind of come this direction. Just keep that in mind when you're installing them. And then uh, finally, looking at these two side by side, I will weigh these later, but the OEM is about, I would say, three, three or three so pounds lighter. All right, so we have our new rotor. We're going to take the R sticker off of the... Uh, it here. Stick it right on. Look for the hole alignment. Now we're having some brake and grease uh, cleaner or caliper. It's going to go on to the uh, hub here, right here. Now when you're putting the rotor on, you're going to see this hole here. This hole here is where your, your T30 goes. So you're going to link it up to where the hole is on the hub here. Hey buddy. Push it on tight. Grab your uh, your bit. Start threading that in there. There we go. Just 
just like that. Perfect. Yeah. Next up, I actually did off camera, which was we used the C clamp right here, and we uh, grabbed the caliper and we squeezed it down. Uh, there are separate videos on that one. It's pretty easy to do, but grab a C clamp and uh, and do that. It's only a single a single piston on the caliper, so pretty easy to do. Okay, now we have our head holder right here. Put that back on. Line it up behind these two holes here. I believe in the tech manual, VW requires that you replace these bolts. Um, so, you may want to do that. Um, I can't really speak for anyone but myself on this one. So, totally up to you if you want to do that, but it is something that VW asks that their, their, their technicians do. I don't think it's required on the calipers, but it is required for these. Now you do want to tie these down to 200 newton meters. Uh, my torque wrench is only 150, so I had to borrow one from a friend to do the 200. Kind of crazy, but that is the uh, that is the requirement. It's just gonna be a ton of work to get this at 200, but. Whew. Break here for a second to the top end. There we go. All right. 200 achieved. That's intense. Okay. Let's go to the pads and put them back in. I'm just going to get these guys inside of here. Actually, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to push these clips in. There's that. Other side. There we go. Boom. Almost to the inside. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line these up. I'm gonna start with the top and I'll push this clip in here. Get behind there. And then push the top clip in. Get in the hole there. the top in, boom, just like that. Now we have our cord right here. This is gonna easily just plug right up into here. Give it a tug, it's all solid. We're good. I did not show this, right, but I did already, or my house. I did already put the, uh, the C-clamp in the caliper here. Now we're just going to put it on top of the new pants in place. In the top. Did you lose the guy? No. Lose? Oh, okay. These are both threaded in. Now we gotta do what we did before, which was holding um, pliers here while we screw at the top there. Now we just start screwing it in. I'm gonna hand do it first. Okay, the top is done. Let's do the bottom. Now you'll see right now we got a little bit of play uh, once the the piston engages the first time this play will go away i would recommend uh you just remove the same thing on their side but i'm going to go ahead and keep recording on the other side and then maybe i can find some things i didn't show before at a better angle so let's stop on the passenger side move over to the driver's side